feel about the interview yet? I really don't know too much about it. We've been sitting here for a while now, and I'm really getting tired of waiting. Rumor has it saying that it's like 100K. I don't even know if that's true or false or... I don't like that. Nice tie, by the way. Uh, good, good tie. But, uh, you know, it's 100K. I don't know if that's true, but I don't know. Uh, in a way, I uh, love that tie. I love that tie, man. That's a great tie. So, uh, how about you over there? How are you feeling about the, uh, the interview? Can you repeat that question again? I said, are you ready for the interview yet? Where'd you get that water at, man? Oh, you just go downstairs, go to the left, go to the right, go to the left, go to the right twice. There's a little vending machine down there. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a lot of turns, man. Oh, well, hurry up. I'm really losing my patience. We've been here long enough. Huh. I don't know about you, man, but <laughs> I got a lot of patience in the world. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take all day. I don't care. <laughs> here a long time, eh, fellas? We have been here a long time. I'm really getting sick of waiting. These desks are uncomfortable. It's ridiculous. You know what? I told myself I did have patience, but you know what? This is taking forever. You know that? I I'm, know that. I'm getting it. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. You guys have fun. Going, man? Guys. We're not getting out of here. We're locked in, not from the inside, from the outside. The doors are chained. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. That's not cool, man. What'd you say? No, you doors can't are chained. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, I'm pretty sure that's against. I'm telling you, yeah, it's chained. We're not going anywhere. It's crap. I don't know what to do. We're locked in here. You know what? This is BS. This is not even. This is not even a company, okay? It's not supposed to treat us like this. When you said it's chained. What, are, so what is this, a prison? Yeah. It's against the Constitution, yeah. yeah. What do you want me to do? Break the damn door down? Look at that over there by the door. The note says, thank you for your patience. It was an experimental interview. And would like you to know one person in here is conducting the interview. What? Uh, I mean, earlier I understand that I kind of left some steam because I was really impatient, but uh, I mean, this place seems, this company seems pretty good. You know, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I mean, Don't but. Don't too bad, no? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, though, I know I said it some of like your tie and stuff like that was really nice, but your tie looks. Great, you know, like oh, you know, oh, uh, I got the thank you. It's great. Oh, Tom, yeah, how you Tom, doing? Nick, Nick, Nick. Okay, and uh, just let you know, too, uh, you, sir, you, you have a nice shirt. Uh, yeah, uh, you have a nice shirt, you know. Don't worry about me. I'm just here to get my employment. If I don't apply and go for interviews, I won't get another three months. Just got to keep going, man. You know what? You're the only one not dressed for this interview. No nice shirt, no tie. Hmm. You are kind of right. Um, that's true. He has a point there. Uh, my name is Nick, by the way. But uh, yeah, you kind of seem like uh, kind of undressed for, for the position. But uh, you know, you can have the rest of my water if you want. I got it right there. I know you said you were thirsty earlier. Well. I can't play this role anymore. I've got something to tell you guys. I'm actually the CEO of this company. Yep. And if you want the job, oh man, there's a lot you gotta do. A lot of ask is. Well, if that's the case then, you know who I am, Nick. What? I'm Jerry, I uh, get the chair. I'm really sorry about that. That's cool, dude. That's cool. <laughs> Tom, how you doing? Uh, do got that water in case you get thirsty. All right. Huh. Um, <clears throat> it says here that uh, the interviewer does not wear glasses. I'm not wearing glasses now. Oh man, what's wrong with you? You know what? I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Hey, you know right. what? Good. You know what? Man, I'm right.
It says here that the interviewer has a mole on his ass. Did he just say his ass? You know, Mr. Nick, I didn't walk into this interview planning on uh, looking at any butts, but uh, you're keeping a tight grasp on those ass cheeks over there. Well, uh, by coming to this interview, <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm going to be expecting someone to bite about moles on asses, so you know what? I don't want anybody to touch my ass, so no bum touching them. Well, I'll tell you what, if I had some money to put down on it, that says you hiding the moles. It's pretty much a given. I'm not going to get the job. What are you two going to get at this interview? I botched it. I want to see some asses. Who's got the damn mole? What's the matter, guys? You want to check my ass? Ah, right. got any takers? Let's go. Get my glasses. We can check this out. Come on, guys. Come on. Who's going to check it out? Let's do it. Any Toby. Say, Mr. Jerry. How about we have a old talk with uh, Mr. Nick over here? Start checking out some ass. You want me to hold him down? Guys, guys. <laughs> Please. Please, I mean, you don't need to check him out. I don't need anybody touching my ass or anybody inspecting it, okay? So, please, I just said, look, look. Turn around, look at the door. Someone just knocked on the door. Hey, Mo, wanna get that in? Okay, the note says, <clears throat> enough playing around. Resume in your seats. You have 10 minutes to figure it out. Pick the right one and you will win the job. Explore around. All you gotta do is come in the front door, elevator, up to the room. Well, you know, I'm just, just that kind I of guy. I wanna know, do you have a mole on your ass? No, no, no. no, no. I wanna know, do you have a mole on your ass? I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah. Do you have a mole on your ass? It's the size of Texas. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> 